We can take it real slow, but when I put it in, it's going to your belly dough. I'm going to break all your barriers. Necessities, while the number two is still a bit cloudy. People need to wake up, embrace the inner conscience instead of killing themselves up in a mosh pit. I must admit, I've had my own fair share of negatives, but I still climb to the top for the power of Everett. Because 10% of London wish to speak up about our situation, while the other 90 disregard the thoughts of revelation. Let the book speak and wash away your problems. The biggest project. Run beats, I tell them nah, nah When I'm done with you, be like blah, blah Got this thing on the lock, I'm erasing your spot Without reaching the top, I tell them Yes, yes, people, what's going on, man? This is Lezzarino, about to do my interview for Soul Central Magazine So, big up to those guys there, man Let's go What do you do? I'm an artist, engineer, producer a lot more things, but I'll just say those main three. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from London, based in South London to be precise. How long have you been in the music industry? For a long time, um, at least I'd say about 10 years. Um, I started off around the grime sort of scene, 2004, um, but I've kind of transisted more into rap since then but I started off making grand music back in the Soul Solid days and Wiley and Skepta, Kano, those kind of times and that um, but yeah I've transisted into kind of loads of different genres now. What music releases do you have out there at the moment and do you have any albums and where can people get them from? Ah, uh, um, albums wise I have my album, My Hip Hop 1.0, which has been out since last year. Um, you can find that on Bandcamp, is the website for that. I've also got an album coming out called Juice in the Drought, which will be coming out very, very soon. Um, I'm hoping in the next month or so, until it's done. We've also got the Time to Give Back album, which is featured through my um, record label, Mr. Click One If You Recordings. So please go and check that out as well via our websites. What other producers, songwriters are your pros and inspirations? Yeah, um, inspiring artists and stuff. Um, definitely Bone Fugs and Harmony um, would be one. Um, I grew up with those guys, you know what I mean? I was probably playing their music before I knew, I even knew what their names were, do you know what I mean? Um, I was like gassed or ecstatic when I found out who they were and then I could follow all the rest of their music. Um, I got loads of others though, they're just like my tops, but like, you know, like Tupac was a big inspiration for me when I was growing up. Um, I love Nas as well. Um, a lot of people who talk a lot about truth and, um, you know what I mean, like trying to build you up as a person, you know what I mean, um, just talking about life in general, you know what I mean, like those those kind of people always kind of get me up there. Um, other inspirations, more UK wise would be like Loki, I love listening to Loki. Um, Kalashnikov would be another one as well. Um, and just loads man I, I love my gram my gram MCs as well you know what I mean and that too what has been your highlight in the music industry at the moment boy there's been a few um, one was supposed when I made my first kind of official song which was called best I can be 
which I did back in my college days. Um, it was kind of like my first transition from being a grime MC to a bit of a, a fast, maybe kind of rep MC, is what you could call it. Um, that was definitely one of my biggest moments, like, because I had a performance back in um, a course I was on when I was younger, and you know, all the people there when I performed it for the first time, like, the reception I got was just amazing. You know what I mean, and um, it really just helped to kind of shape what direction I was going in from there. You know, um, other big definite impacts um, for me is um, probably getting myself level with being an artist and a producer, um, where I was quite comfortable with both of them. You know what I mean? I got to a level where I was like, right, yeah, good. This is I can actually send out releases and um, you know what I mean get a good decent reception from people from that too you know what I mean and find out where I'm categorised and all that you know what I mean just find my footing really was another good one and probably the last is definitely joining uh, Mr Click 183 you know what I mean um, for the last year that was a that was a definitely big in impact and now it's kind of shaping me to take myself to the next step what are your views and thoughts about the music industry? Music industry, as a whole, it's doing well. Um, technology has helped a lot to push the music industry forward. It's helped to make artists a lot more independent and give them a footing in, of course, our you know what I mean, big crisis of recession and finance and stuff where you might not always have the um, money to pay for, you know, big release companies and big camera companies and whatnot. So it's helped in that sense, but um, at the same time, it's made, it's made people more separated. So a lot of people now, it's, it's hard to kind of um, find people who you can constantly utilize and help you to kind of build yourself up because everyone's trying to do the same exact thing in it that you know and there's just you know a million and one people doing all of the same thing um there's a million and one people all trying to promote you know i mean all at the same time and trying to promote themselves um i'd also say that where technology has opened up a lot of doors it's also caused a lot of um, artists who haven't really exactly studied the whole culture of either rapping or singing or producing, whatever it might be. It's just letting a lot of people who haven't exactly studied all that to come in. So people who are original or authentic or have just been working really hard, do you know what I mean, at trying to make their names up. They have to push themselves through all of these other little, we can call them wannabes, you know what I mean, wannabes who are just out here just, you know, trying to get their own foot in but they haven't exactly um, studied where this all of, all of these art forms come from and are constantly, like, you know what I mean, trying to make themselves better. For a lot of them it could just be for a money sake of thing. Um, I don't reside in that. You know what I mean in the in the um, just the money aspect. You know what I mean. You know I like to make, you know, um, innovative material. Is what you could probably call it. Where would you like to be in the next five years? Five years, making big shows, um, selling out arenas with hopefully music that I like and not just people like. Um, I would like to say definitely a millionaire, but I just want to have money to have an investment really so I can invest in my own things, you know what I mean? Like So I don't really want to think of the word vanity and, you know what I mean, having billions and billions of pounds, but I certainly want to be at a stage where you know, I don't have to think of having another job to pay for all of my other means musically. If I can make money with music and it sits together um, properly, you know what I mean, where I'm happy with it, then I'm all good really, you know what I mean. But definitely like 
selling out arenas and selling albums and getting just reception from people, loads of people and that and getting happiness from that. One last thing, what would you like to tell any fans and future listeners that may be listening to this? Stay positive. Um, keep focused. Wherever you start in music, try and end there. Of course, there'll be times where, you know, your music changes and you do other things, but there's always a reason why you started making music in the first place. And some people forget that reason. Like, but it's for you as a person to remember where you came from, where you started from, and to build on that and not just drastically change completely who you are to um, just suit someone else's needs is what I would say. So stay positive and be yourself. You know what I mean? It's basically the best word I'd say. Yo, 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 it's Big Friss right now. Follow me on Twitter at Big Friss, B-I-G-F-R-I-S. And you're now locked into Soul Central magazine, number one for India, it's around the globe, go global or stay local.